All right, this is my Aldi haul for my birthday dinner. I decided I wanted a nice fall dinner. My birthday is on Thursday. This is the weekend before that Thursday, and my husband and I are going to have a meal of mashed potatoes and gravy, homemade applesauce, broccoli, carrots, strawberries. Um, I might make like a chocolate dip for those, and pork chops. That's going to be the dinner. I'm going to pre-cook the pork chops, and then I'm going to put everything or keep everything warm in one of my crock pots um, so that I don't, you know, have to spend an enormous amount of time in the kitchen uh, when I make it this weekend because I'm, we're going to be eating it this weekend as my birthday is on Thursday, and it'll be a work day. And I did not take it off, and nor did my husband. So, um, when I went to Aldi, I wanted to buy a smaller bag of potatoes, so this meal would come uh, even less than the $18.12 that it ended up costing. But I saw this big 10-pound uh, bag of potatoes there, and these russet potatoes look so good that I decided to buy 10 pounds, which is rare for us. We generally buy just a 3-pound bag of potatoes, but this will last us quite a while. So uh, the, these potatoes, let me go through the prices of these things. The... Um, Premium boneless center cut pork chops, which I will show you in a second, were $4.59 a pound, and I spent $5.05 on the pork chops. The strawberries for a one pound package were $2.99. The honey crisp apples for two pounds were $2.99. The broccoli was one measured at one pound at $1.95 for one pound. The 10 pounds of russet potatoes were $3.59, and the 2 pounds of carrots were $1.65. So when I make the meal this weekend, um, of course we'll have plenty of mashed potatoes left over and plenty of potatoes left over in the crisper. Uh, we'll probably eat a good portion of the applesauce because that generally makes like two and a half servings once you get this uh, cooked down. So we'll probably eat that all up in that meal, and the broccoli will have some of that uh, left over. Carrots, of course, we'll have carrots in, in another meal, and we'll probably eat all of the strawberries. And the pork chops, like I said, there'll be leftovers of at least the potatoes and the broccoli and possibly a little bit of uh, applesauce, and my husband can have that with a pork chop the following day. So I'll show you the pork chops. We got those over here. So those are cooked up, and then uh, so this is Saturday night, Sunday night, and then I'll warm those through so that I'm not in the kitchen all day Sunday because I do have a... Uh, other things to do like <laughs> editing this video and getting it up and then I'm closing down my garden for uh, for the rest of this season and that and I've got some cleaning to do in that um, so because I don't want to do any of that on my birthday on Thursday so we uh, I like cook these through so they're they are cooked through and then I will put them in the refrigerator and then tomorrow I'll do the mashed potatoes and the broccoli I'm going to make a chocolate dip for the strawberries and the carrots and the ap homemade applesauce I'll be making here in a few minutes. So it'll be real easy to put together tomorrow uh, so that I can uh, get the rest of the things that I have planned done. And then, of course, um, hopefully before I forget, I will put a uh, snapshot of a plate of it in the video that's coming out tomorrow night. So that was uh, what I decided to have for my birthday dinner. Um, this one just with my husband and I. I do like fall food. I also made a birthday cake, a homemade birthday cake. And I'll be showing a clip of that. And also in the video is a thank you to um, a couple of uh, subscribers of mine, a couple of friends of mine, and things that they had sent. And I have put in, inserted in the description, I hope, if I can get that link in. Otherwise, I will show you on my, um, I will print it off and show you a fall, seven fall meals that have, that have a, um, shopping list attached to them with prices included if you would buy these products at Aldi, which in our area, Aldi would have the lowest prices, so they, it may cost a little bit more if you bought them at Walmart. So uh, sometimes in, in different places, Walmart's cheaper than Aldi, but in this area, Aldi is generally cheaper than Walmart for most things. So that's what this week's video is all about. I hope you're all well, and I will talk to you next week. Okay, here is something that I'm going to add to the video, and then I will add a link in the description in that so that you can easily uh, click on to it and have a copy of it. Um, it's our fall and winter menu, and I called it Fall and Winter Menu Ideas. I came up with this as I was walking through Aldi trying to find a fall meal for my birthday. So let me try and navigate this while I hold the camera. So I came up with... Uh, seven meals, pork, rice, carrots, and broccoli, or chicken strips, home fries, and side salad, ham, steak, eggs, and hash brown, 
pot roast potatoes, carrots, peas, sweet potatoes, spaghetti and meatballs with garlic toast, chili and cheese bread, pork roast, little smashed potatoes, and green beans. Now those might not be your cup of tea. Um, that is the type of food that we eat. So of course I was trying to come up with um, some fall uh, type of meals and stuff like that because we, you know, like everyone else, get tired of the same old thing. So as I was thinking of this, I was wondering you know, if I put all of these seven meals together, obviously if I bought all the ingredients for it, I would still have ingredients probably to make these same meals the second week, probably. And then I may, if I wanted these meals for 30 days, um, shake these meals up a little bit and not always have pork rice on Monday or chicken strips, so on and so forth, or even take some of the in, uh, ingredients of one meal and put it into another, you know, however you wanted to do it. Uh, there's lots of ways to use leftover pot roast, lots of ways to use the meatballs from leftover spaghetti, chili, you can grab a package of hot dogs and make chili dogs, I mean, the sky's the limit. Uh, pork roast or anything with pork, you can do pulled pork on a bun, so yeah, you can create lots of meals with the leftovers, and there are leftovers if, um, you know, this. these are meals and ingredients for two adults with some leftovers and some leftover ingredients. So then I decided to put together a grocery list. Well, first I add recipes. So I've got a recipe there I use for pot roast, recipe I use for chili, a recipe I use for spaghetti and meatballs, one for pork roast in a crock pot, one for smashed potatoes, and one for homemade chicken strips. And then I put together a grocery list from Aldi um, because I was in Aldi and that's where I'm buying a lot of ingredients lately. Aldi is the cheapest store in our area may not be the cheapest store in yours, so I'm using the cheapest prices right now in our area. So you know I've got the potatoes and sweet potatoes and broccoli, carrots, clove of garlic, onions, salad, tomato, cucumber, parsley, a lot of the items are if desired, apples, Italian bread, eggs, buttermilk if desired, parmesan wedge, breadcrumbs, and again these are the products and prices that I pay. You may not want um, a lot of kidney beans in your chili, so you might only buy one can of kidney beans. Breadcrumbs, you might use your own. Um, Parmesan, you might buy the shaky cheese, which we don't buy. We always buy the block or the wedge. You might not like chicken broth, just water, and so on and so forth. I've got the meat priced in there, the pork, the, the pork rolls, the ground beef, the breast tenders, the beef rolls, the ham steak, then the frozen items, the hash browns, and I did not include prices on any of the spices, things that would be in the pantry because um, many folks already have these things on hand or they don't buy these particular items at Aldi. I know many people that still buy Watkins uh, spices that are available at Menards to buy. So, uh, yeah. And if you were to go into the store and buy all these groceries for the seven meals, it's $114.02 for two adults seven meals with leftovers and leftover ingredients. So that link will be in the description. Okay, I wanted to add this into this evening's video. Got a couple of nice things from followers slash friends um, of my YouTube channel. Um, I had uh, kind of made an agreement with my husband to stop at the post office box. Uh, he would do that every week after work, you know, a couple of times and that. And I asked him this past Friday if he'd done that recently because I hadn't seen anything come back. And I have been asked a couple of times here now by companies to review their product in a video. And so I wanted to check and see if uh, anyone had sent anything. And uh, he said that he hadn't been stopping. So I went on Friday and lo and behold, there was a couple of items in there. I wasn't used to I've never been used to. I've never received a package from Amazon unless I actually ordered it myself. So I'm sorry. I opened it up right away thinking it was one of these products to review. And here it was, these lovely gingerbread. Um, they're they're uh, wooden cutouts. And they have, I have one already up on my kitchen counter. They have little easels that you can put these little wooden cutouts on with the gingerbread. And I don't know if, um, I, I don't want to mention any names just out of privacy sake. Um, for the people that's the two ladies that sent it sent these things but um, I had mentioned way long ago that I was going to have gingerbread as our little kind of a theme for this Christmas and so these are absolutely positively perfect
So I don't know if you heard me say that or remembered me saying that or just think that I would be the gingerbread type of person, but I am, and I love these. These are so cute, so cute. So I thank you very much for thinking of me and for sending these items, and I apologize that I didn't pick them up until this last Friday. So I wanted to get them in the video right away and tell you that I'm very thankful, uh, very grateful to have you not only as a uh, friend and follower of my YouTube channel, but just very grateful that you uh, stop by every week and uh, uh, leave a comment and that and let me know how everything's going in your life. So, and then I got one other thing. I got this cute card, Live Life in Full Bloom with daisies on it, and I'm a daisy person. Just absolutely love it with a cute, nice message inside and some stickers with kitties. I'm a big kitty person. I sit in and I have time at uh, night, after, either before work, after work, or if I don't have to work, just before I go to bed and I watch kitty videos. So um, this is just absolutely adorable. And I so appreciate the card and the nice message and these stickers. So I'm, I feel very grateful today um, making this video and including this and just, you know, going to the P.O. Box and seeing these lovely things. And it was a, was a wonderful surprise. So thank you again.